Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to be learning about Ableton's Guitar Amp Effect, as well as some other cool ideas to help you get started bringing your guitar riffs to life. We'll start with something simple and then we'll have some fun with it. Now to begin, we'll need to open Ableton's Audio Effects on the left. If you aren't sure how to use these, you can check out our Audio Effects tutorial to get a simple and quick guide on how to get started. Anyway, here at the top of the list we have Amp. And if we open up the presets, we can see that there are a ton of cool effects to get us started. Let's try the heavy preset. To load them in, simply drag and drop them into your track. Be careful though, they can be pretty loud, so be sure to turn your volume down to protect your ears. Here I've got a guitar sample ready to go, but this will also work if you are recording straight in with your guitar. Watch our How to Record with Ableton tutorial to get yourself ready for that. Here we can change the amp type, and I always like to turn the treble down just to stop it being too harsh. Maybe we should add some reverb, stop it being so dry. Some other cool effects that we can use on guitars are the cabinet, which makes it sound as though we are using a mic'd up amplifier. It even has the different sizes. Perhaps we can finish it off with a tiny bit of overdrive. I'll just adjust the filter until we find a nice tone. Hey, that's pretty good. I hope this tutorial has helped you get an idea of how to get started using Ableton's guitar amp and other cool features to get your guitar jams rocking. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out our other tutorials. Thanks.